Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special treat for you today. I'm here in Bolinas, California, which is approximately five miles from Stinson Beach. It's a little more well-known uh, locale in the area, although Bolinas has been uh, gaining notoriety in the last few years. And I'm, I'm here with a very special guest. I'm really happy that he has time to spend a few minutes with us. And uh, one of my all-time heroes, Don Dean. And he is the editor of the Coastal Post and the proprietor of the oldest uh, continuously operated bar room in the entire state of California, including throughout the time of uh, Prohibition. And uh, here we are with Don. Thanks for uh, joining us on our radio show today. Don, how you doing? Good, John. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's great to see you, Don. It's been a, a long time. Uh, there was, a, I don't know, about 10 or 15 years ago, I, I used to play here semi-regularly with some of the guys from the Sons of Champlin, and you've been keeping a live music program going down here, so I, I, many kudos to you there because I know it's it's tough to keep uh, live music going these days uh, and a lot of things are changing in the music business but you are, are a traditionalist you know you've been keeping a lot of tradition going here and you've been kind of uh, a surrogate father to a lot of people who've uh, grown up around here and uh, you've worn a lot of hats you're still wearing a lot of hats so you you got a, a lot of things going. What what's uh, what's on your plate these days? Well, the plate these days is uh, living through this uh, recession, depression, whatever this monster bad time for the economy is, mm -hmm. and uh, with a little cooperation from the musicians and cooperation from the customers, it's all going to work. Yeah. Know? Well, you're keeping it going, so my hats off to you and. You know, you you keep the peace down there. It's amazing. You know, um, a lot of places uh, of the, the nature of your place. I mean, the you know, Smiley's has a really great reputation because uh, it's been a friendly place. You know, and you know, a lot of times, like I, I've played in a lot of places where people drink alcohol. You know, and they get out of control. But you know, you you have a great team down there. They keep everybody. Uh, from getting out of hand, uh, uh, although they're tolerant also, you know, but uh, if they get out of hand, you've you got the people that, that uh, know how to handle with a firm but uh, kind hand, you know. That's it. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, 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 Greg, uh, he really impressed me how he handles the, the kids down there, you know. So yeah. it's great, you know, because if people need a place like that where they can go and be safe you know and and uh it's it's a it's a great institution you've got so you know the history of that place uh, folks for those of you who don't know uh smiley's was actually uh, started in 1851 is that right Don? 1851 you got it. it was uh put together by a uh sea captain who settled here on the coast and uh built this uh this saloon with uh old uh, wine barrels and uh, and refuse from the beach and uh, and it's been here ever since so it has had some remodeling and improvements made <laughs> when electricity came in well it's a very charming place and uh, it's kind of the centerpiece of the the city um, I've, I've been fortunate to be here during the fourth of July uh, parade which is really one of the most interesting fourth of july parades uh as fourth of july parades go that's why uh i, I believe uh cnn has visited your uh yeah, your uh, annual event here that's true. and it doesn't it always kick off with um um uh, is there uh someone who sings the star spangled banner annie crotz annie crotz uh retired postmaster uh, mistress, I guess, uh -huh. uh, here in Bolinas, and she sings uh, the national anthem and hits the high keys wow. every year. Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Well, one of the things I always wondered about was um, how Smiley's continued to operate during the Prohibition years. That must have added a lot of color to the uh, 
the uh, additional history of this place. Uh, I'm sure that they had to do it a little bit on the surreptitious uh, side to, to pull it off, huh? A little bit. There was a lot of booze that came across the beach during Pro <laughs> Prohibition down from mm -hmm. Canada, and uh, and the owner of Smiley's at that point uh, decided to have a barber shop in the front uh, right corner of the saloon, and that's uh, that's how customers gained entrance to the medicinal. Uh, 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 offerings that we had in the saloon at that point. Uh, the, the place has been a medical facility for, for decades and decades, ah. and so uh, we are continuing in that tradition. <laughs> right on. Well, uh, so people have been self-medicating at this location for a long time. A long time. 167, <laughs> 168 years. Wow, that is really fantastic. I, I, was, I always wondered... Uh, you know how they did that. So uh, the barber shop uh, that was, was the, the cover. <laughs> that was the cover. <laughs> well, that's really great. Yeah, Don. Well, you've had a lot of great people come through here. You know, you never know who's going to walk in the door of Smiley's. You have um, a very artistic community here, and and people who have been uh, commercially successful, and they just want to sort of drop out of the. Uh, the normal uh, society and you come out here and it's a, you know once you come here it's a little bit of a drive and to find it and then you have this uh, this uh, colorful group of people who uh, uh, this uh, uh, sort of border patrol the self self uh, uh, appointed border patrol that this is kind of a, a famous legendary uh, thing that goes on uh, that's been going on for a number of years uh, the uh, sign that points the way to get to Smiley's uh, has been taken down and the state keeps putting it back up and this has happened numerous times so um, they, they have this uh, what do they call this this uh, this group of folks the, the, the self-appointed border patrol well, it's a kind of a mythical and mystical uh, Bolinas border patrol whose uh, major mission is to uh, preserve the integrity and the uh, privacy of the town uh -huh. uh, and I think uh, I think they've succeeded because uh, I believe that uh, Caltrans has capitulated and has stopped putting the signs up for the last oh, eight or ten years. All right. And so uh, the sign now is a, a very valuable collector's item. <laughs> if you're able to, able to find one. I bet. Yeah. Well. So they really did succeed, and uh, Caltrans uh, finally gave up. So that. Yeah. That's good to hear. It was a losing battle for them. <laughs> That's great. Well, Don, you're, you're the uh, editor of the Coastal Post, and uh, you're pretty much the uh, uh, chief cook and bottle washer over there. So you've been keeping that going, and uh, you're on. Uh, you're, you you print the Coastal Post on paper. It's, it's distributed locally, and on the internet as well, right? The Coastal Post has been suspended since may oh wow. and uh it may or may not come back uh how many make, years did you keep it going you 35 did years wow well, that a long 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 time mm -hmm. but uh, uh as you get older uh some things have to give and the environment for newspapers right now is not is not very good right. or very strong and newspapers all over the country are are biting the dust which is a, a huge shame Mm -hmm. uh, I don't quite know how getting the news is going to be replaced because uh, I know the internet uh, has an enormous amount of information available, but you don't tend to go after it. It's not like picking your, the newspaper up on your front walk. So, for the time being, the Coastal Post is is resting. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you kept it going a great long time, and any time you have. Any news that you'd like to get out there, we'll certainly uh, give it a big blast. And it's really great having you on the show. Before we get out of here, Don, I, I want to find out uh, if there's any truth to this rumor. I heard a rumor that uh, 
you play accordion. Is that true? It's true. It's something that I've got a license to do, though. So <laughs> any members of the law enforcement community that might want to come by and take me into custody because I am playing accordion are going to have a hard time. <laughs> I, I can relate to that because that's how I got into the music business. I love the accordion, you know, but uh, I've seen those bumper stickers, uh, play accordion and go to jail. That's right. That's <laughs> right. The people in custody all over the state. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of these times, maybe we'll be uh, lucky enough to, to hear you break out the box and uh, play a few tunes for us. So thanks a lot for spending uh, some time with us, Don. That's Don Dean, and that's spelled D-E-A-N-E, and he is the Dean of Bolinas, folks. If you're lucky enough to find your way out here sometime, stop in the Smiley's, and we're going to be playing there this evening, so I'm really happy to be uh, back on the bandstand at at Smiley's, thanks for having us back, Dean, uh, Don. And before we get out of here, our station, KYOU Radio, what have you got to say to our listeners on KYOU? I'm just so glad to be talking with you and hope that you all come by and taste Smiley's. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. All right. <laughs>